Volkswagen is the world's largest automobile manufacturer. manufacturer. It, has been, um, it has been providing luxurious and prestigious brands in the market, and it is famous for their outstanding performance. However, at the end of 2015, there has been an announcement to the press that it has actually frauded the consumers into faulty, faulty CO2 emissions. This has led to plunge in the stock price and also in the, also in the other financial performances. Now, now, now we are to, now um, in regarding this, in coping this case question, we are here standing by here to cope the question, case question effectively and provide the most adequate and effective solution to, to you. So to summarize the case question, we have narrowed it down to one single question of how should Volkswagen overcome the crisis it is facing right now and become the future game changer? Now, in answering this question, we have took in-depth analysis and will propose further strategies. The first key issue that we identify here today is the reputational damage that it has gained after the scandal. It before, before the scandal, it has pursued the image of clean diesel technology and also had the reputation that its products, its automobiles, were the made in Germany quality. However, after the scandal, this Im brand images has been severely damaged and almost, and almost led to um, severe damaged financial index. In fact, their stock price has plunged to 20% and 20% and its operating, mar operating profit have also plunged to minus 3.5 billion euros, which were supposed to be the 3.2 billion euros if, it, if the scandal hadn't happened in the past. The second key issue we identify today is the organizational problem that it is possessing inside the corporation. First, it has lack of diversity in the supervising supervisory board. There are the majority of the board members are Australian or Germany, or there are few women who engage in the management board or the su supervisory board. And secondly, they have an ineffective whistleblower program. Even though Im they implemented the whistleblower pr program, they did not offer the confidentiality of the whistleblower, which ultimately lead led to an ineffective program. And lastly, they had anticipatory obedient culture. Hereby we mean the anticipatory obedient culture is that the, is that the employees are are vulnerable to the orders given from the top, so they haven't had the chance to offer any opinions that will be delivered to the higher, higher positions in the management. The third key issue we identified is the future paradigm of electronic vehicles. Currently, the market size or the growth has not been the has not been the most favorable, but it is expected that it will growth will um it will its growth will be facilitated in the in the future. So currently, it is just in the introduction phase, but however, it is expected to enter into the growth cycle in the near future. Now, in the back of, on the back of this analysis, we have proposed the three S strategy. The main goal we, uh, we pursue is recovering the cons consumer trust and financial index and become the ultimate game changer in the automobile industry. Now in pursuing this strategy, pursuing this goal, we believe that there are three strategies to be implemented. Stabilize, survive, and surpass. In the, sur in the stabilize strategy, uh, you should pursue, we propose that you should pursue the transparent decision-making process. And the second strategy of survive, 
we propose that you introduce the recovering, you implement the recovering of brand image and financial performances. And in the third, third phase of surpass, we offer you the strategy of becoming the game changer in the electrical vehicle industry. As our first step, you should achieve long-term competitiveness by restructuring the organization. We propose three action plans for this. First, supervisory board with external experts. The key factor of the transparency starts with this supervisory board. By doing so, you will achieve the transparency by diversity and also experts the skill for the supervisory board. And second, bottom up communication system. The reason for this is to lessen the fear atmosphere started by the top down communication system and it will make more ideas shared for this new game changing company. And last, whistleblower program under confidentiality. Confidentiality is the most important for whistleblower program. The current situation is that employees are worried about the confidentiality and their specula specula speculation. So by doing so, employees will much participate in this whistleblower program. As our second step, second step, by, by doing so, you will achieve operational profit to $13 billion by three specific markets. The first market is China. You should enhance the China market because it is the most core market in Asian Pacific market. And also, I in here, you will acquire the cash flow for the long term <coughs> strategy. And China was focused on the gasoline. So, they are the most less affected by this diesel gate rather than comparing with the Europe and USA. And secondly, Europe. Europe was damaged by the brand image because of these diesel gates. And most important thing was this brand, how to recover this brand image. And Europe is the most important market for Volkswagen. So you should strengthen, strengthen the CSR in the Europe market. And lastly is USA. The USA is the most important market, one of the most important market but here is the many obstacles like emission and brand images. So you should penetrate by EV, which is our long-term strategy. And as our last step and our long-term strategy, you should enter EV market by the long-term competitiveness, what we gain from the former two strategies. There are three action plans, R&D, infrastructure, and geographic expansion. Firstly, IND. The most important technology is different from the gasoline and diesel, what is the fossil fuel cars, which you should more focus on the battery and software here. And secondly, infrastructure. You should build a whole different supply chain here by making new battery suppliers and so software suppliers too. And you should deal with the USPA here, making the recharging station in USA. And lastly, geographic expansion. Here, you will penetrate into USA by this EV, which has less regulation and the brand image problem here. Thank you, Hemeng and Minsu, for explaining the key issues and the strategic overview of the, um, our, our consulting group. So, the first strategy that we are going to suggest to the Volkswagen group is the stabilized strategy, and that is the transparency decision-making process. So, the objective in this, in this strategy is you making a new organization structure for the long-term competit competitiveness. So, for first action plan, in this strategy is 
making a, adopting a supervisory board with the external experts. So how are we going to achieve this? First, we suggest that we uh, we suggest that Volkswagen Group needs to hire external experts as a board member. It can be from the automobile and turnaround um, industry, who has a background of the lots of pro um, lots of projects and the experience from there. And we will give we also suggest that they need to give uh, much um, much authorities to the newly board members. So by doing this, we can get the increased transparency in Volkswagen. Um, Volkswagen Group with the external members and we can make it faster and advanced turnaround process with the external members and also we can enhance the diversity in the board group. The second action plan is second action plan is adopting the bottom up um, bottom up communication system. The ha um, we we suggest that we suggest that Volkswagen Group needs to make a new idea platform they can share the, which can share the new ideas and the solution among the employees and the board members or the executives in the group. And we can also set a regular meeting, we can also suggest that they should, they should set a regular meeting with the board and the operation team so that they can know the, pro, uh, they can know the pro problems in advance and came up with a faster solution as possible. So within doing this, we can get the decree, we can overcome some decreased in inflexibility in the organization and also we can increase the cooperation among the group. The third action plan is making the whistleblower program under the confidentiality. We currently, we, we figured out that they currently have a whistleblower system but it was useless in this diesel gate. So what we suggest is that making the direct channel for the whistleblowers under the confidentiality so that they can, um, they can get the increased res responsibility when giving their ideas and they can get the transparency and finally achieving the organizational um, ex uh, excellence. Thank you so much, Xiaomi, for explaining our first strategy, which is making transparent decision-making process inside of the, our box bargain. From now on, let's move on to the second strategy with the name of survive and we're going to implement restore to restore damaged financial status and our brand image. And we set our key objective for strategy as to recover operational profit to 13 billion US dollar uh, uh, as it was on 2012. And for this strategy, we propose you to uh, implement two key action plans. First is enhance China market in advance to the US penetration of US market and second uh, US for uh, uh, enhancing CSR in European market and this is our first action plan enhancing China market actually we have to uh, think importance of the China market because it has over 30 percent of, of the total sales of Volkswagen so we have to capture this market importantly so, and then how can you accomplish this enhancement? First, we propose you to launch new gasoline SUV model in China because there was huge uh, local demand in China for SUV especially for China people. So we had we propose you to launch new gasoline SUV model. As actually we chose to gasoline because uh, it was uh, we had a, such a risk to take the diesel model in China also. And, but we have to think about this with cost issue also because it can th we have to make an investment on R and D. But however, we are going to offset this cost from second um, strategy, second action plan with adopting modular transverse toolkit for development. This can be make this can make um, procurement of our uh, parts uh, efficiently from the integrated system so that we can cut the cost and offset the cost uh, expenses from R&D investment. Then what can be the effect of use, uh, lever imp implementing this action plan? We can capture the large local SUV demand of local Chinese people with larger market share and we set market share goal as 15% in China.
And our second action plan is strengthening CSR in Europe because European market is uh, was the mainland of our main, uh, strategy of Volkswagen. Then how could it, how can it implement how can it implement this action plan? We are going to suggest two in two aspects. The first, so in socially, we are going to uh, throw a campaigns in society as a compensation for our last um, status quo, and we are going to uh, make an engagement on local institutions, or we can throw a campaign for environmental manner, and also. For environmental me mental aspects, we are going to leverage clean ESO model as we had for this Volkswagen mark for Volkswagen company, and we can expect some effects from this lever uh, implementing action plan. And we can regain the market leader status in Europe also uh, through the strengthening CSR in Europe. And we think about our we think that we have to recapture market share in Europe by 15% also, so that we can refresh customers' perception of the uh, company Volkswagen totally implementing this action plan. So the last strategy that we suggest is the surface strategy, and which is the becoming the, 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 for the, for the Volkswagen, becoming the game changer in the electronic vehicle market. So the objective in this strategy is because enter the electronic uh, electronic vehicle market for long term competitive competitiveness in the automobile industry. If you look at the current situation, currently fossil fuel cars are 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 facing the severe com severe competition, but the but it has a mar large market size. And if you see the current situation of the electronic vehicle. It has small market size and less competitive, uh, less comp uh, less competition happening. So, what we suggest is that because of the diesel gate nowadays, so the um, electronic vehicle market will be growing in the market size. So, the before the other competitors such as Toyota or like other GM comes into the, this market, we suggest that Volkswagen needs to enter in advance in this market. So first, we need to do some R&D in battery and software for the, for the electronic vehicle. And also, we need to set the infra, infrastructure, such as supply chain management, by, or, uh, by, by, um, by making some organization, uh, or, or organize the logistic plans and some production plan also. And, uh, and we also need to make a recharging station for the car batteries. And we can contact with them gl some global energy companies in advance. So, Lastly, we suggest that we need to also think of the geographic expansion. We first going to enter electronic vehicle market of the USA, but since we have a lo other local chains in another another um, another another market, we also need to focus on those markets too. So to summarize, today you've asked us how should Volkswagen overcome this crisis and becoming the future game changer. And by, analyzing, uh, by doing analysis, we came up with the three key issues of internal, external, and industry, in industry um, issues. And so for, for over overcoming this, we are suggesting three, three strategies, which, um, which is survive, stabilize, and surface strategy. By doing this, we can assure that Volkswagen company will become a new game changer in the automobile industry. Thank you very much, and we now going move on. We now moving on to the questioning <coughs> session. Yes. 
scandal and things, right? Um, so two questions. What do you think would have been the impact on the employees, right? In your proposal to uh, stabilize supply and surplus, what are you going to do with these employees? That 200,000 employees. So to answer the question regarding the organizational no problem that may still remain, um, so we believe that the strategy we, we propose here, is especially those strategies such as um, whistleblower program in under confidentiality or or pursuing more um, bottom up decision making process, would become a would be a, a positive sign from the management from, to the rest of the employees that they have the will to change and that they have the will to. Um, to go together as a team. So even though the, the employee's morale ha may have been um, damaged after the announcement, it could be, um, after implementing our strategy, it could be um, restored. So that's, that's the explanation for your question. Thank you. Thank you. Can I go next? Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, thanks again for the presentation. It wasn't entirely clear to me over what time frame you were going to make this strategy work. Um, so for the for the survive and stabilize will be will be done in a very soon uh, in in a very short time because it's a it's kind of like a desperate mission that we need to get the um, respect from the lower employees and also from the customers and both. And also, we need to get some. We need to overcome some financial losses that happened after the diesel gate. So this will be happening very soon. But the EV um, electronic vehicle, the uh, R and D, will be happening in the in the early time. But we skimmed that as a like uh, four, at least like five or ten years timeline, so that we can successfully enter in the U.S. market. So it surpasses five to ten years from where yes. we are today. Yes. Yes. So. Crisis management is what three months, six months, twelve months. In terms of the specific period, it will take the one to two years. But the most important standard for what we assumed is that the product product span of the automobile is two to four years. So we assume that all the important survive and stabilize steps should be done before making the new product span for the new automobile. So that's why. We just made the made just localized for the China, not making the new mobile and dealing with the risk in two years. And the first step of stabilize should be start in six months and be done before the two years end. Thank you. And so thirteen billion dollars is after the the two years. So we get there in two years' time. It was for the short term period, so we had to make uh, our cash inflow stable for the stabilize. Stabi uh, stabilize. So we said thirteen billion because it was the number on two thousand twelve. So we had we set our objective for twelve uh, thirteen billion dollar for our operational profit in two years. So by twenty eighteen, that's what we mm -hmm. <coughs> Yes. Thank you. In one of your the issues that you highlight as organizational problem and um, uh, you do some make some actions regarding the reorganizing the supervisory board the management board yes. and some actions about um, effective whistleblower but can you elaborate more as to how you address the culture of the company you know even though you reorganize but then the staff and the management culture how they going to you know address this issue about ethical um, and social responsibility, and um, and then ultimately to address the trust and uh, of the customers towards the company and the trust of the different stakeholders towards the company on this ability to deliver a good product to the community. Le regarding the question about the culture, the we. We thought that the most important thing is that how the top management makes the message for the whole part of the employees. So that's why we started with the whistleblow program and the supervisory board. So the making the different supervisory board 
will make the first message for the whole employees. And also after the message comes into the employees, the second most important thing is that how they communicate inside it and how they feel about the message and how it is feasible for them. That's why we made the strategy for the bottom-up communication system. So by doing so, we saw the internal marketing for their, the employees will be solved by these three things. And uh, external marketing starts with this internal marketing, how, how the employees will feel about the top management message. That's what we thought about these strategies. What is the change in the top management message to the company and employee? Uh, I understand uh, all along the, the focus of the company objective is on the profit and expanding the market share, etc. So do you see there's any need to change uh, or you know, readjust the company missions and objective? How do you address that? So to regarding the question about if there will be any change in the company mission or overall company philosophy, is that correct? Mm -hmm. uh, so um, in answering the question, um, the strategies we the strategy we propose the we, stra we propose the strategies because um, because. Uh, because we believe that there are um, the change in the management board will be the most substantial will be the most crucial thing to start with the philosophy, and it will change in a way that will emphasize um, emphasize the capabilities of all the employees. Because before before this announcement, there the the corporate culture used to be a top down and very obedient culture. So um, it will change into a more um, horizontal stu communication structure and can I say as some answer uh, you answered uh, just asked about the objective how objective we will make the message to the employees then that's why we mentioned about the becoming the game changer the problem started with that the Volkswagen wanted to become the powerful competitor in the USA and Europe by making the better emission regulation problems uh, solutions so that's what uh, they, they wanted to make more into the fierce competition market and it makes the com employees to the fast so uh, make the fast solution that fits into that fierce competition but by this new strategy we give the objective to become the game changer after the five and ten years so the most more important thing in the long term is how they make a new EV by understanding and R&D the new technology and the new market that will make, make them more time to understand and that will make the different objective and the message for them. So you think the changing the product and the product mix helps change the culture of Yes, that was what I mentioned and our team think. So I believe that changing the strategic direction will also change the strat uh, the cultural um, organizational like, culture and the organization structure. So th that's the reason why we said that changing our strategic vision, strategic direction can also affect the whole mission and the vision among the employees in the company. The most important market we are considering after US RV success in penetrating into USA is Europe because Europe gives the message that the regulation is important and they are uh, they will getting uh, their emission regulation will become more harsher because the message that uh, their emission regulation is not that harsh than USA is is mentioned in the case 
repetitively. So that's why the Europe is the second, and after that, it will become the time for the China changes into the new, uh, in, into the new market growth. In it. so that's what we thought that Europe is the second, and then we penetrate to, into China. That what we made at our first and second step. So. They are there, and uh, the using what we made the criteria for choosing that market, like uh, how the emission regulation and how the market size we will be, and what the key players like uh, other EV players getting into that market will be the three important criteria for it. So if these criteria are applied there, we can use you can choose that if there are more information about that market. Or regulations. Actually, showing by behaviors, because in fact, the, the this kind of um, scandals have happened because they try to try to disclose things, even though it has been happening inside the company. So um, we that's why we try to make the company structure more clear, more transparent, that outsiders could out um, outside stakeholders can see it as a as a sign that we are um, trying and we're trying hard, and it's. Um, more than just words, we think it's more important to show by um, actual behaviors. So um, that will be my explanation. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.